Hello YouTubers and welcome to Novice Talks with me your host Novice Scorpius and I'm back. I took the break I needed and I feel like now is a good time more than ever to finally get back into the habit of uploading and talking about things because I have missed out on a few things worth talking about while I took my break so um, it's good to finally get back into that. Right as I did that intro, it felt kind of strange because even though it's only been 10 days, it feels like it's been longer since I did a video. And I feel like if I leave things any longer, I'll get out of the habit of wanting to do, upload videos and then it's not going to come as naturally to me anymore to want to do a video each day. Um, so yeah, there's that. In regards to what I was feeling, um, so, so obviously I did that video and I said that you know, I was taking a break because I wasn't feeling that great and I didn't really have much motivation in returns in regards to doing uh, videos or trying to motivate myself to do videos. Nah, but enough time has passed and since that time was passed I was, you know, checking the video to see, you know, how many views it got and things like that. But the point is I was checking it every day so I still had that part of me that wanted to go back and you know, upload videos because I still feel like, hey, I really need to upload something today. It's been a while. Um, but regardless, we're here now. Um, I guess now I'm as good as I'm going to get, so why not get back into the swing of doing videos? Um, so what did I miss in my short break away, if you can even really call it a break? Um, Obviously, I said in that last video about the Metroid Prime 4 update with all the news and the new developers and stuff. Uh, that was like the big trending thing at the time. Um, I have to refresh my mind on it, I, I'm not really sure, but I know they hired some more developers, I think, from Battle or something like that. But more visual effects artists, anyway, were brought on board by uh, Retro, and they were big enough names, so Metroid Prime 4 is coming steadily along. But there was one other big thing um, in relation to Nintendo that came out that surprised everyone and that was the reveal of Paper Mario the Origami King. Like everyone I was shocked when I saw this. I watched a trailer, I thought it looked really good. I haven't played any of the real Paper Mario games, I've played Mario and Luigi Paper Jam which I absolutely loved and I think is quite underrated. Um, even though, I, as I said, I have Super Paper Mario, I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. I must get to that, now's as good as time as ever. Um, but from what I saw, the game looked good. They didn't seem to reveal anything about the battle mechanics or anything, so I'm not sure how that's working. But from what I hear, it's not an RPG anymore, which is odd, but mm, let's see how it goes. It comes out in two months, which is the biggest shock of all. Um, and then the end of the trailer. Obviously, at the end, I... I was kind of baffled, you know, the title screen came up and I was like, okay, grand. Then I saw Paper Mario with a Samus helmet and I was like, oh, but what, what is this? Hang on. And like, this dragged up for like a full 10 to 20 seconds. It was quite long and um, I didn't know what to make of it at the time other than they're definitely hinting at a new Metroid game. There, there's no way this is not a new Metroid game. And then the whole debate came up about it. I was... My thoughts on it, I know I'm a bit late, but I might as well give my thoughts now more than ever. I think it is a 2D Metroid game. Even though I'm aware that Kintsuki Tanabe produced Paper Mario, and that there's also a Donkey Kong head there, so it could be like a little hint to Metroid Prime 4 without really teasing anything. Or it could be like an in-game mechanic where you use different Nintendo character costumes to do different abilities. Kind of like what you can do in Bayonetta. It's possible, but if that was the case, I don't think they'd show it at the very end. I think it would just be thrown in in like the middle of the trailer somewhere. Or I think you'd kind of skip past. But they left it right at the very end so that your attention was focused on it. That's why I feel like it's something bigger. And think back to the Game Awards 2018. Reggie wore a Ridley t-shirt. We all went mental. We thought we were getting the Metroid Prime Trilogy of the Game Awards. I didn't believe the t-shirt was hinting at that, but I did think the game was going to be there. Nintendo had nothing to show that year, they had like one or two games, can't remember what they were even. Um, but Metroid wasn't one of them, 
and you know fans were furious after that so surely Nintendo would not make the same mistake again by you know teasing uh, Samus at the end of the Paper Mario trailer um, on top of that uh, sorry I lost my train of thought for a second they know fans are hungry for new Metroid content they would not tease it like that because Metroid fans get very roused up when anything remotely connected to Metroid comes up, especially by Nintendo. And also, the rumor, January 2019, uh, no, not even, I think it was January this year actually, January 2020, sorry, yeah. Sabi on Twitter, I made a video on this as well. He posted about, oh, that we were gonna get a new Paper Mario as well as a new 2D Metroid that was a sequel to Metroid Fusion. His Twitter account was later deleted um, after Nintendo kind of took action against him. And you know, at the time we were all like, oh, you know, it's a rumor, it'll be true, it won't be true. Paper Mario turned out to be true. And even more so, there's a Metroid tease at the end. So Nintendo are kind of referencing that rumor in a way. Sure, it could be just to say, hey, we acknowledge that rumor and you were right to believe it. It might not necessarily mean the Metroid part of the rumor is true, but you know, we it's really all speculation. There is no nothing to go on here, no right or wrong answer currently. But see, you could go back even further. January 2018, the first rumor of a new 2D Metroid came out. Uh, in it was on that day, I think it was like the 5th of January or something, and they were like, a new Metroid game has like literally started development right now. That was two years ago, and then there was this 2D Metroid rumor a few months ago, and then there's this. Paper Mario's come out in two months. Who's not to say we got a trailer for Metroid in August and it comes out in September or something? Quite possibly. That's why I thoroughly believe this could be something legit, because look, look at how that is. I mean, surely I'm not the only one catching on to this that whole rumor and then it has to mean something, right? I know it's the nerd in me is talking here, but it definitely means something. Of course, classic Nintendo will get nothing, but ever since that came out, I was refreshing YouTube like every minute, desperately hoping a Metroid trailer would come up. Nothing came out. Nintendo kind of slowed down their announcements. Um, so there, there doesn't seem to be anything else there yet. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like their all their E3 reveals, but so far, I don't know, maybe they're, they'll announce something next month or something in relation to Metroid, who knows? But I think now more than ever, a new Metroid, a new 2D Metroid is on the horizon, and hopefully it's nothing like Samus Returns. <laughs> I absolutely hate that game, it was so bad, but we'll see where they go. Um, one other part to the Paper Mario rumor worth bringing up is that Sabi mentioned it would be a Back to Origins type Paper Mario game. From what I can tell, I mean I don't know anything, but it doesn't seem to be Back to Basics, but that doesn't discredit him by any means. It's just a little small nitpicky thing I noticed there, but I'll definitely have my eyes out and um, when that trailer came out, I was thinking in the next couple of days I might have to come off my break and do a trailer reaction for Metroid. It didn't happen, but maybe on around June the 13th, hopefully we get something. Uh, other updates I missed were Bayonetta 3, well, update. People asked um, Hideki Kimiya if the game was canceled and he told people to throw their um, disappointment out the window or whatever, that the game wasn't canceled and they're hard at work, which I think is complete bullshit. Look, I love Bayonetta, I'm absolutely, I was excited for Bayonetta 3, but it's been over three years since we've heard anything from the game. They promised we'll hear something after Astro Chain came out. That never happened. Uh, the voice actors haven't even recorded voice lines yet, for God's sake. So that's proof that this game is like not coming anytime soon. Most people are like, oh, it could be next year, it could be the year after. I'm not even gonna put a release date on it. I originally thought 2019. Nothing happens, so as far as I'm concerned, it's cancelled until we get a trailer or some other really big concrete news to go on. So that was a short little update on Bayonetta. Um, and then 
the final thing to come to is Transformers. See, I'm, I'm, I, of course when I go away, I, this is when I start to miss things. It's when I'm on YouTube then I have nothing to talk about. Um, there was confirmation that on June 24th, 2022, a new Transformers movie is coming out. On top of that, uh, the official Instagram page, not for the movies, just for the brand overall, by the way. We're posting studio series figures all week from each movie, uh, one every day. And they kept teasing, oh, we hope you're hyped for the new 2022 movie in the description. And they did this for every figure, and we thought yesterday they'd announce something from the new movie, like a figure from whatever the next movie's gonna be in, or a tight reveal or a logo reveal or something like that. <laughs> they, got, they gave us nothing, which was disappointing. And I was ready to do a video and all on it, but nothing came through as I kind of expected, but I was hoping differently. Um, so we don't have anything to talk about there. I've already did a video before talking about Transformers 1 being back in development. Um, it's looking like now that the next movie is going to be the Bumblebee sequel and not Beast Wars. Either way, I don't really care. Beast Wars won't work as a movie and the Bumblebee movie is just going to be inconsistent with the prequel story of the first one. So I don't really care either way. I'm more hyped for that animated movie at this point, but we'll see how things go. Um, originally, I was not going to bring up some of this stuff in great detail in this video. I was just going to announce that I was back and I was going to leave these details for the next two or three videos to do, especially the Transformers stuff, but I kind of talked about it without stopping myself, so now I have nothing to talk about. Um, the stuff I was going to talk about next I don't have, so I um, backed myself into a corner there, but I guess it's just the excitement of being back. Now that I've gotten all that out of the way, um, I can say that, yeah, I'll be back. Um, Back to my usual consistent schedule, hopefully. Every day, every two days, roughly. Uh, I'm going to use this notebook from now on to actually plan my thoughts out because my last few videos, I know you guys haven't said it to me, but to me personally, it was ridiculous how some of those turned out and I want to have key points for me to go over that I can get things out um, properly, so to speak. Um, so I will be using this a lot more. Um, I'm gonna try to organize myself so my videos make more sense that are worth watching and they're not just me stumbling for words and repeating the same sentence six times um, every five minutes. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you can bear with me through that. Um, and to anyone who watched my last video um, where I said I was taking a break, I didn't share any of that around and I was surprised it still got quite a good amount of views. Average watch time was four minutes. Usually people watch for about a minute or two, but four minutes I was quite pleased with, so I was very surprised. But thank you for watching that and I guess understanding what I had to say in it. Um, I'm back now, as I said, and I hope to get back uh, on schedule, back on track very soon. Right after I upload this, I'm gonna try and figure out what videos to do next so I have a bit of a plan going forward and so I'm not sort of blindly rushing into things um, So consider this kind of a new restart for, for me um, But yeah, thank you to everyone who's waited patiently and to everyone who's watching this and is um, Interested in all my videos or anyone who is eager to get my thoughts on all this news that came out and uh, had to wait until this to get it, uh, I apologize for the wait, but here we are. Hopefully we get a Metroid trailer soon. Um, hopefully some information on Transformers, you know. There's gonna be plenty to talk about in the upcoming days and weeks, so um, look forward to all of that. Uh, with that all said, thank you all for watching and um, please subscribe. Nova Scorvis out.